All right. Uh, where do I start? Um, Alice Jambi is a very passionate individual. Yes. She is a fun-loving person. She loves reading. She loves dancing. She loves working out. She uh -oh. is. Yes, I love working out. Wow. She's a mother of two. A teen who is turning 15 in two months. And a preteen who's turning 10 next week. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. How is it uh, parenting preteens and teenagers? <laughs> Let's just say we need the grace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? yeah. So tell me, um, then who is Alice Jambi as the conscious life coach? How did you get into the journey of choosing and saying, I want to be the conscious life coach, not the love coach, not the mental coach, the conscious life coach. How did your journey begin for you to get to where you are? Wow, very good question. Um, my journey started uh, all the way in 2017. Mm -hmm. And that was after um, a divorce. We separated uh, with my ex-husband. Mm -hmm. And I was at that point where I was feeling so bitter, you know. What year was this again? 2017. 2017, yeah. okay. And I was at that point where, you know, I was just thinking, you know, such things don't happen to people like me. Amazing how we always think uh, negative things or bad things happen to other people, not to us. Yeah. And then um, I was in that space where I was so bitter. I was so angry. I was so frustrated. In fact, I love saying any, everything was just getting me annoyed. Yeah. To the extent, uh, perhaps a stranger would just pass or even a fly. Any something so trivial and I get angry. Mm. And... Um, I remember that time, you know, people would ask me, so nini nili happened? I'd be, and I'd be so happy to share, you know. Yeah. He did, he didn't do, he said, he didn't say. But what I realized was even after sharing my pain, because that's what uh, most of the time we do, we share our pain hoping that it will lessen. I found that at the end of the day, when I was seated by myself, you know, I was still feeling the pain. Mm. I was still feeling angry. I was still feeling bitter. And I didn't like that feeling. Yeah. So for me, the, the thing changed when I stopped looking at him and I started looking at myself in terms of, hey, wait a minute. By the way, it takes two to make a marriage. It yeah. also takes two to break a marriage. Yeah. So chick, unse akua kwa yondo apekeake. So... Yeah. How did you show up? You know, what are the things that you did or you didn't do? What are the things that you allowed? What are the things that uh, maybe um, you should have said? So it was more of a self-reflection journey. Mm. And that's where I started. I started asking myself, okay, so how did I show up mm. in that marriage? How do I show up in my own life? Mm. And I realized I had been showing up as a bystander. In my own life, I'm waiting for people, you know, to tell me how to do things, to go in this direction. To So even every time I'm like, okay, I'm not sure what is right for me. I mm. can't express myself. I have no boundaries. So it was all... Um, wow. Yeah. And is, you forget all this during, after the divorce? Now yes. that's a season of after the divorce. Yes. Wow. Yes. It's, it's, it's been, oh my goodness, it's been a journey. Yeah. Because even up to now, I'm still getting to understand myself. I like saying self-awareness is not a one-time thing. You know, see it in the Chukwa Kitabu Nisome two hours ago, like, I'm the most self-aware mm. person I know. Mm. I like looking at it like, you know, the way you peel an onion, they are like layers and layers. There's something that you will always find you'll always discover about yourself. You never ever get to a point where you say, ah, sasa na jijua 100%. Yeah. yeah. And tell me, during the journey of where now you said, hey, hey, I need to ask and myself which part I played. Mm -hmm. What was your light bulb? Which was your light bulb moment for you to think, hmm, I think the work has already begun? Uh, that happened... Uh, how do I put it? It was in one question. Yes. That I didn't realize how impactful that was. Okay. But I can even remember we were seated and I was like, hmm, why do I do the things that I do? Wow. Yeah, it was very powerful. Yeah. And I was I started being curious about myself. Uh -huh. You know, about why do I think about the things that I think? These opinions that I have about this particular topic. You know, Zilito Kawapi, mm. where did I first hear of them? 
and uh, for me, I remember it was such an interesting, it's like I was getting to know myself, to date myself. You know, the way when you've met someone new, you want to know, mm. no, mm. how's their, how they grew up, where they grew up, the things. It was like now I was taking time to understand myself better. Were you scared? Scared, excited, um, a bit frustrated because okay. I'm like, I think I should know this. Okay. No. How comes I don't know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love that. I like to know why people do the things they do. Exactly. And because it's a journey, it's good to understand your journey. And thank you so much for sharing with us. So let's get into business. Yes, please. What is imposter syndrome? And mm -hmm. as you tell us what it is, share with us what it looks like. All right. Um, simply put, imposter syndrome is that feeling where you feel like you're inadequate or you're not capable or you lack confidence to do the things that you're supposed to do you have a lot of self-doubt imposter syndrome and uh, self-doubt are, are like sisters you mm. know you cannot have that feeling of uh, lack of confidence if you're not doubting yourself and uh, most of the time uh, maybe just a bit of background before i share an example yes uh, self self-doubt and imposter syndrome comes from Either insecurities that we got as a child uh -huh. or uh, childhood experiences. Okay. And uh, let me give an example. Then I'll give my own life example. Yes. Um, say, for example, um, among the, hey. when you are among the class from yeah. Yoma. Yeah. Then uh, maybe going home, you always used to be told, hey, why couldn't you be, you know, sharp like so and so? Uh -huh. When him jinga, when him jinga, you Only know. You need the perform. Thank you. Then, uh, fine, we've grown up now, uh, we are working, then Unambio come and, you know, come and lead the team to do this. Mm. What we don't realize is most of our thinking is triggered by, is driven by our subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. Things that happened between, most of the time, between zero and seven years. Mm -hmm. Or uh, if not, something that we call a core memory, an event in your life that happened and it traumatized you. Or it can be a good memory or a bad memory. Um, so for imposter, most of the time, it's usually a negative memory. Mm. Like say, for example, then here you're being told, uh, come and lead the team. You start thinking, exactly. No, out of career, my thinking like this. Ah. Most of the time we just live on auto, um, autopilot subconsciously. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I, wow yeah you begin to ask why am i being the one exactly. qualified exactly wow then we start shaking then yeah. we start thinking i'm not good enough i don't have the right skills instead of saying okay i may not be having the right skills but what skills are needed mm. for me to head this mm. so um let me give now my own life example yes yes i remember um my very first job very many years ago was um i was in this institution which is now a very famous university uh back then it was a college and i had um, done accounting cpas until section six yes and they were looking for lecturers yes and uh i remember i applied and they picked me i went for the interview the interview i think uh, took less than five minutes or so oh wow it was very they just looked at my papers told me to go to class teach i think i taught for like two minutes they were like okay ah. uh if um you if you pass then we're going to give you a call that interview i think took less than 10 minutes combined yeah the class and as a, as in everything yeah and i remember thinking that was too short yeah but mm. i i went home then they had said we'll call you within a week two days later they called me pause that <laughs> <laughs> Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> Two days later, they called you. Guys, you want to hear the rest of that story? Oh, please, let us know your thoughts. We are having an amazing, 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 the, li the conscious life coach, Alice Jabi. Today, we are talking about self-awareness and how to identify your triggers. She was giving us a nice story, but I have to pause because, you know, we have to pay some bills, guys. We will be right back. Spice. I want you to kindly paint us a picture of what a person who lacks self-awareness looks like. Give us All maybe right. three examples, if it's possible, so that okay. the listener, mm. aji, aji, where the shoe fits. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe let me start with the person looks like you and me. Okay. In terms of at face value, ukimwangalia ukiniangalia, you know, you can't tell. Because until you know until you get to interact with them mm. like uh, if you looked at me you can't tell maybe what probably i'm going through unless i share it with yes, you yes yes and um this is now how you can tell because you can get them to do it or not at face value nothing then you start looking at their actions and their you know their thoughts their feelings their actions are not aligned perfect um something that we've even adapted as kenyans which is the height of and consciousness mm. no kwani jana kuliendaje yep we even have a song yeah. a whole song that we jump to <laughs> na nawaona <laughs> watu wenye watu amka kesho aanze kujiuliza hizo maswali i hope you're listening and perfect you know this is the long weekend yeah watu wanaenda sherehe drinks they don't you care know. you exactly. know they don't care in fact i had somebody say me hata ukinitumia email saa hii mm-hmm. kindly note thank you until tuesday thank you our jali mhm And then Tuesday comes uh, the first thing someone is asking themselves I but they say nilikuwa na doko ATM ah ah sherehe what happened you know oh my goodness i hooked up with so and so i don't even like them but mm. it was in the spirit of sherehe yeah i didn't take the time to honor myself what do i want no or even just making conscious choices you know what by the way it's a long weekend i'm feeling lonely i'm going to hook up with someone that i don't even like as much because i do not want to stay by myself i'm going to spend money that i do not even have then come tuesday i'm going to regret my choices come tuesday i will be begging people for you know fair to make it to the rest yes, of the month yes and when i make that choice you know from a point of consciousness i'm making a conscious choice you Tuesday ni kikwa na kuomba do you know and you're telling me i don't have i won't start thinking oh you know akarigo yani squeeze yani she's not even a good friend she can't come through for me you know i'll be saying by the way i knew what i was doing yeah i went for that weekend i knew if if we sat and thought about the things that we are going to do between now and monday would we really do them Mm-mm. yeah if we knew by the even, part of this even right i'm thinking of the choice i made <laughs> of after the show i'm like <laughs> What I think twice. Catch a bad one in job. Thank you. Thank you Jambi. <laughs> so it's with you know such simple and then now coming back as an individual because self awareness is not even about other people. It's me ni jujue. No, it's for me to understand how do my thoughts influence my feelings and how do these two influence my actions. You know Are my thoughts and feelings aligned with my choices? Mm. You know, do I choose my choices or am I a victim? Cuz I'm going to say I by the either circle is idea I'm a category is idea I'm you know I'm always seeking help. Yeah. I'm always uh, taking the poor me mentality. Yeah. You know what? <sighs> It's the way I was raised. You mli raise you anado. Sisi kwetu we suffered. I struggled. Yeah. And then we are not thinking okay fine. I might have suffered, I might have struggled, but I have a choice. Yeah. I have a choice to be different. Yeah. I have a choice to do different. Yeah. But what does different look like for me? So then how do we differentiate self-awareness and emotional intelligence? Okay. Uh here's the thing, yeah. Emotional intelligence is the main umbrella. Self-awareness is the foundation. Actually, let me just put it this way. When mm-hmm. it comes to emotional intelligence, which is just understanding manage understanding our own emotions and managing them in a way that will help us instead of blocking us that's emotional intelligence mm-hmm. self awareness is the foundation emotional intelligence is divided into two parts the first part is has to do with me as an individual that's self awareness and self management okay then the second part has to do with how i interact with others mm. that's social awareness and uh, social management So back to your question. Self awareness is the foundation. Mm. How can I manage my own emotions if I don't even understand myself? If I don't even know myself. How will I understand you come in yata? How will I understand your emotions if I don't understand my own? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. So for me to achieve emotional intelligence, I first have to be aware 
of my own emotions yes and my own feelings yes exactly. wow great exactly. so now then paint us a picture of what we should do i'm seated here and i'm having so many negative thoughts in my head mm -hmm. how do i deal with them I wake up every day and when I want to achieve something, I want to achieve a goal, I'm having negative thoughts okay. in like less than a minute. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me put this. Uh, most of the time, our negative thoughts come from social conditioning. You know, I found this. Please, I have to add this. You know, the dictionary has only 3,000 positive words to describe our feelings and 26,000 words to describe our negative feelings wow yes so it it just tells you what we talk about most of the time things i don't want things i don't like things that i don't feel like that's why we keep on having negative thoughts because we are always coming from that point point. and here's the thing a negative thought is just a thought uh. it's just a thought guys it's just a thought yeah. meaning if you can think one thought you can think another thought wow Yes, you Is it just actually, that simple? Yes, it's that simple. It's not, it doesn't need to be so deep. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to... This is one of the things I personally struggle with. Mm -hmm. Negative thoughts, negative thoughts, negative yes. thoughts. Yeah. And it's not like there's anything negative happening in your life. Mm -hmm. You just find like a negative thought yes. creeping up here. Yes. So what you're saying is I just need to simply make the choice and say... <clears throat> No negative thoughts. Yes. Let me have positive thoughts. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to take that beyond words. Alice Jambi, the conscious life coach. Spice. Yeah. Uh, she or he could have told herself, I'm unlovable. You know, or maybe when the violence is happening and I have Kuji feature. So I can't, no one can protect me. The adults in my life when I was young, you know, they couldn't protect me. Mm. So I have to protect myself, you know. Or uh, maybe if I was good enough, then they wouldn't have done that. Because, mm. you know, as kids, we tell ourselves so many things, yeah, that um, are false. So it's for her to go back and identify or for him to go back and identify what are the self-limiting beliefs that came with that story. Because uh. that's a story. Wow. But everything in our lives is a story that we told ourselves. Yeah. You know, an event happened. I told myself I'm not good enough. So it's for me to go back and question that story. You know. Yeah. So um, is that is that true? Is that so? Then um, if I wanted to change the story, what story would I have to tell myself? Yeah. Then change the story to what you want to tell yourself. And the thing about uh, low self-esteem, it's because these are thoughts we've kept, what you're mentioning earlier, negative thoughts. We've kept on repeating, we've kept on repeating, we've kept on repeating. The thing about um, now reprogramming our minds, yeah, we do the same thing through repetition. Yes. That's how we learned. You know, we learned ABCD when we were kids and still today, but oh, can you lose ABCD? I can tell you because of repetition. We yeah. go to class and learn every day. So the same thing when it comes to reprogramming our minds, you know, is the same thing and just repeating, repeating, repeating. Let me give an example. Yes. For the longest time, I had low self-esteem issues and I, have, I had a poor self-image. Why? Because when we were kids, and uh, my own family, and it was all in good jest, yeah? They'd tell me you have piano legs. You know how a piano looks? We have kikuyu legs. Yeah. And they'd, they'd all laugh, you know, mm. and point. And we were all looking for someone's insecurities to point at them before they point at yours. And I remember, I didn't know, but it affected me. I didn't know. And I noted now when I was doing my own self-awareness journey is all my dresses, by the way, are long dresses. Hiya. Yes. And then I was thinking, oh, I'm such a conservative person. Kumbe, what I was doing subconsciously was hiding my legs. Wow. Because yeah. why do I want people to laugh at me as an adult? Yeah. Hello, Spice. Hello, Barisen. I'm sorry, Sana. And Kwanta Kulisa Chambi, Iwapo, yeah, Pia Katika Hali and Oyake, yeah, Pia Alichangia, percentage Fulani for Punjaka Kondoyake, our ni Alchipata Pime Punjika. Now, if Kama Alchangia, and I recreate our regret, Santa Sana and Steve from Edore. Asante Sana. So, so you used to cover up your. Yes. And you thought it was coming from conservation. Yeah. I was thinking, oh, and you're such not. a good eh, yeah. Christian, conservative. Yeah. Until I started asking myself. 
because it was very simple questions. Why do I even dress like this? You know, where did this first come from? Yeah. And I, it hit me, but I've always been dressing like that because I'm subconsciously covering, you know. And you know, it's, it's, it's great you've brought that up because more often than not, we don't even understand how our subconscious is playing on the things exactly. that we do. Mm. So please answer this gentleman. Kondoya <laughs> yako. Let's 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 answer here. Okay. You know, and let's uh, be honest. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, nothing but a hundred percent honesty. And yes, I realized later Nita Changanisha Swaili na Kizongo. I realized later that Pia Mimi, Vilatun Lisama, when I started, I also had, you know, taken a very huge there are things that I should have done, I didn't do. There are things that I thought, in fact, if you'd have asked me that back then, Ninge Kwambia Mindo wife material, like, I please, you know, pro Proverbs 31 woman. Yeah. It is I and I am her. Until I realized, hey, chick, you know, the, the woman you have in your head and I'll, the woman that you are, oh my God. They are two totally exactly. different. Exactly. Did you at one point think that, Kai, have I been a fraud all this time? Yes. Yes, I went through that whole process. I went just to, you know, to answer the listener. I yeah. went to, through that whole process. I w actually looked what did I do or what didn't I do. Yeah. I noted the things that um, my ex wanted from me that I wasn't able to deliver. Not because I didn't want to, because, but because I was not in that mental state. And I remember at some point, I actually did apologize much later. Oh, wow. Of course, you never understood. Huh? What are you talking about? You apologize? Yes, I apologize. I said, you know what? Uh, for how I showed up. Yeah. For the things that, you know, all those shenanigans that were, I forgive you and I ask for your forgiveness. You know, as in this, siku baby, naomba pia mimi, usini bebe. Anything that nilifanya nka kukosea, please Is that emotional me. intelligence? Yes, it is. Though at that point, I didn't even know. It was just coming from, um, it was just coming from a deep sense of reflection. And you're right. It is because self-awareness is part of emotional intelligence. So that's an example of yeah. emotional. Because yeah. we hear people who say they can let learning how Mimi to express yourself. I'm sorry, Mimi. Do you know what he did to me? Do you know what yeah. she did to me? Why would I apologize? <clears throat> Sour. I played a part. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> when I asked emotional intelligence, that is how I wanted you to play mm -hmm. it. Because more often than not, an apology is knowing how to deal with the emotions. Exactly. exactly. And we don't know how to deal with our yeah. emotions. Yeah. I being one of mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how should I stay grounded when I feel overwhelmed with emotions? All right. Uh, that's a good... Uh, can I finish answering? Just 20 yes, seconds. Please, yes. He asked whether I have any regrets. Regrets, yeah. And um, I have none. I have none because when I look back, everything has led me to this point. If that had not happened, if I had not gone through, you know, the pain and frustrations and the awareness of, you know, how did I wouldn't be seated here. My own coaching, my life purpose was born out of that. I keep on saying my pain turned into my passion and mm. my passion turned into profit. So do I have any regrets? No. Absolutely none. You don't yeah, think, you don't feel like you, if you, time would go back, you'd do things differently? No. Okay, great. Mm. So how do I manage being overwhelmed? What do I Good do question. when I'm overwhelmed? Let me give a very practical example. It takes, uh, you've ever had people saying, mm. as in, I, I wasn't thinking. And that's because it is true. Every time we are engulfed by emotions, we don't think. Why? Because um, the way um, emotions, uh, how do I put this? The way emotions reach our brain, yeah? They first reach the emotional part of the brain first. Yeah. Then it takes between five and six seconds for, it, uh, for, those, uh, for the data to reach the rational part of the brain. What I'm saying is it takes between five to six seconds for you to calm down. Yeah. So what I like advising is breathe. Take deep breath. No, no, you not feel too my emotions in uh, there's anger coming up. You want to smash something. Yeah. Just, and it has to be something that you have to keep on practicing because it doesn't come uh, automatically. Yeah. So when you feel like you're being engulfed, just breathe. Before you say something that you know you're going to regret later. 
because I used to do that. You know, most of us just unaweza tu umekuwa triggered verbal diarrhea. Exactly. Lack of emotional intelligence. By the way, is it lack of emotional intelligence? Yes. It's not me expressing my feelings, Jambi. Yeah. Jambi, Jambi don't know how I'm feeling. <laughs> Jambi, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Ujui. There's absolutely <laughs> nothing wrong with you expressing your feelings, but you should express them with in a healthy manner. Okay. Let me give an example. Please do. There's nothing wrong with being angry at your boss, yeah? But there's everything wrong with you insulting the boss. Yeah. So how you express yourself? And the yourself? boss insulting me. Exactly. Yeah, it 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 goes way, yeah. <laughs> It goes two ways. New Kweli. I just had to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Because it can go both ways. Yes, it can. Yeah. It's, it's two-way traffic. Yeah. So it's just understanding. Yo, so it's good. Please express yourself. But how are you expressing yourself? It's good to have your own, you know, freedom. But your freedom doesn't mean you step on other people's, you know, uh, freedom and uh, rights as well. Mm. Yeah. We have a question from the Spice FM fans group. Mm -hmm. ah! They are listening in. They are really, they're like, this conversation is deep. Yeah, it's <laughs> deep, guys. Um, adult KE, now let me ask you, Jambi, mm -hmm. how do you deal with emotional abuse by letting go of the system, someone you love so much, but truly doesn't serve you in right terms of your psychological balance? It's more of narcissistic. How do you untie yourself from that emotional bandage? Okay. That's a good question. And I love that they's, they've said, they've mentioned, you untie yourself. You remove yourself from that situation. But most of the time, we still end up struggling because umejitua, maybe umejitua physically, mm. but still, emotionally, you're still carrying that person. Emotionally, someone said something to you and uh, like uh, they're mentioning, you know, narcissistic people will just insult you and make you feel small. Why? Because they are working on... They, were, they, are, they just want to finish you, to diminish you, to just demean you such that utenda wapi. You know, when you have low self-esteem. I'm all you got. Exactly. I'm doing you a favor by being with you. Where will you go with those kind of? So it's just understanding yourself. Yeah. And I love saying this. It's never about the other person. Because uh, in this conversation, we always say, ah, that the person, my partner is narcissistic. But I keep on saying, there's a reason why you are matching with that partner. Yeah. There's something in you that is matching with them. Because why do you allow them? Why do you allow them to abuse you? You know, and it could be because I don't know how to express myself. I don't know how to set boundaries. So how do I deal with this? Which is part of learning how to deal with emotional ab abuse. And it goes back to what we were talking about, inner child issues. You know what? This happened. Um, I have trust wounds. I have abandonment wounds. I have rejection wounds. And this is how they are playing in my relationship. Mm. So um, for me, when I understand that, then I understand I have to heal myself. I have to heal myself first. And when I heal myself, even this much I have with this narcissistic person. Yes. It are quite disconnected because they won't. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Jambi, you, I'm sure you followed over the weekend of this Nigerian gospel mm -hmm. artist who passed yeah. away. Mm. Why do people, why don't, I, we had a conversation on Monday and the question mm. I was asking is, mm -hmm. why do we stay in toxic and healthy relationships? Why? Can I answer out of my own experience? Yes, please. And uh, something that I actually thought about when I saw her story. Yeah. And I could see herself. I mean, I could you see, see myself, myself in, yeah, her. in her. And I was thinking, my God, and yeah, God is so gracious because I was this close. Why do we stay? Because speaking now from experience, I was scared. What was I saying? What nini? You know, when I come out of here, I'm in heels, I go for meetings, I power woman, you know, I look like I have everything together. How do I tell them that I can't manage my home? You know, how do I tell them that my home is in shambles, it's splitting, you know, it's just things are all over the place. How do I tell them uh, our relationship is so toxic that I don't even have peace of mind, especially when now I couldn't even sleep. And... um I remember, just thinking back, I remember the day before I left, I just remember praying and telling God, you know what, God, if I leave this house, you know, with my bones intact, because I knew, apa kwenye tumefika kwenye tunaelekea bethe, unsi yake niguza, I'll end up in hospital or I'll end up dead. And I remember telling God, you know what, I can't do this anymore. 
uh, there had not been any violence, but it's like the emotional climate at home was just getting, you know, yes. higher and higher. And that was like the last night, yeah? And uh, maybe just to mention what opened my eyes. Because we are scared. Yeah. We stay because we are scared. We stay because we are afraid. Now what will people say? We stay because, especially now for Osinachi, imagine she goes and Akishika Maikivi, Kilam Tuako. Yeah. And who was her husband? Thank you. So it's that I want to show up for society that I am not showing up. I'm not honoring myself. I'm putting other people first. Yeah. And um, I remember for me, I realized also I was afraid of being lonely. Okay. I was like, I, at, a he, at least. And then there's that also idea of you're losing identity. You know, it, it feels so nice when you're standing in front of a crowd. I'm going to introduce you as Mrs. So-and-so. And then me thinking, oh my God, Ntakwana introduce you as the divorcee. Mm. You know, the people don't want to associate with you. There's a lot of stigma. Yeah. Uh, friends start uh, being told by their spouses, but they stop. Uh, we are single mothers who see associate now. Mm. You know, it's just that stigma and what will people say. Yeah. And I remember for me to get out of that, I remember just... I don't know if I can say this online. I just said, F it. Mm. F everybody. Mm. I am choosing me. Mm. But it takes a lot of courage. I keep on saying, I understand anyone who's in that situation. Because someone uh, looking out, looking in from outside, be like, or you emotionally abuse your psychological... So you just go. People don't understand that it is so deeply rooted, Yeah. And if this person even wakes up and leaves, believe me, they'll go back. Or they're going to meet a person who's just like this other person. So it's never, it's never about just waking up and living physically. Of course, uh, waking up and living physically helps yes. if you're in physical danger. Yes. But you have to do your work. You have to do your inner work. What we were talking about earlier, you have to learn, you know, why do you allow emotional abuse? You know, and sometimes um, we even accept this because that's what we feel maybe... I'm yeah, worthy of that, yeah? yeah? So for me to change that, I have to ask myself, I have to reprogram my mind and keep on affirming I'm worthy of more. You know, I remember telling myself back then, okay, I know marriages are difficult, but imagine they shouldn't be that. They shouldn't be like this, as in there's something wrong. There's something I miss. Yeah. But even for me to get to that point where I could honestly just even acceptance. There's something wrong here. It took a lot of courage. But let me tell you from experience. Sasa courage ya kuchukua vitu upak. Oh my God. And then when you do it and then you discover war. Okay. Kumbe, the, the thoughts that we have in our heads are heavier. Yeah. And the experiences, the imaginations that we are thinking are usually worse than the action. Wow. Yeah. We are.